BBC News. I am Bryce Wellington. And I'm Rio Toledo. Today we'll be celebrating the death of Roby's Pierre. He died July 27, 1793. Let's go back a bit. It all started September 1793, when four years into the revolution, when France was being torn apart. Austria, Prussia, and Europe was all surrounding France. Believe it or not, they were a goner. But one man changed it all. Robespierre decided, let's make this place martial law. So, in their way to control the citizens, get it all act together, they decided to use more physical structures like the guillotine, which created a lot of debts in the, during the French Revolution. For those of you who do not know what martial law is, martial law is when the citizens do not have any rights and the government and military control all the power. Going back to the guillotine that caused a lot of deaths, basically it was a simple structure with a knife on the top, chopped their head off, done. Most citizens died, but it was the simplest things. It was a strict law, so you couldn't mess around, so if you did, there goes your life. The reign of terror was spreading fear throughout the hearts of thousands in France. It was turning neighbors upon neighbors against each other, and family members on family members. All because they did not want to die. So, Bryce, why do you think Robespierre used fear to control over the citizens of France. Robespierre used fear to control his citizens because when fear is instilled into your hearts, you will not, uh, you will not respond to anything. For example, by using the word madame instead of citizen, you would have been killed by a guillotine. For references, here's a reenactment we made. Oh, hello, madam. Hello. Yeah, it's, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey! Oh, uh, yes? You're supposed to call her citizen, not madame! Oh, my gosh! Help! Go. <laughs> yup, and that is exactly what would happen to you if you call someone by the wrong name. So to sum it all up, the French Revolution was all about the citizens trying to fight back against the French government. It was all corrupted, and then until one man named Robespierre stood up and used his weapon, which is called fear. Thank you for watching! BBC News! One. This is BBC News. I'm Bryce Webbington. And I'm Rios Leo. <laughs> 202 years ago. <laughs> 222 to be exact. <laughs> this is BBC News. I am Bryce Webbington. And I am Rios Leo. <laughs> and you guys are. This is. Oh, no, one. <laughs> this is BBC News. I am. <laughs> Wait, no, I, I gotta, gotta like. Crap. What the? What? <laughs>